week 30 bump date. I am now in the 30s. Woohoo! Um, that just seems crazy to me that I am 30 weeks. I only have 10 more weeks to go. Technically, I only have seven weeks to go until the baby is full term as the baby can be full term at um, 37 weeks, um, but the baby can go as long as 40, 41, 42 weeks. So um, could be sooner rather than later, but who knows? I think I'm gonna go way past my due date, but that's just a feeling that I have. This week, baby is the size of a butternut squash or a large cabbage. Um, I was at the grocery store the other day with Anthony. We were buying our groceries and we were in the uh, fruit and vegetable section and I actually walked past a butternut squash and I turned around and I picked one up and holy cow, butternut squashes are huge. I was holding it up to my belly and it just doesn't seem right. I'm like, how is a whole butternut squash in my belly right now? Like, it's huge. So that was really cool to see because I don't really get butternut squash that much at the grocery store. More things about baby this week. Um, baby is now about three pounds, which is crazy to think. Like, he's getting so big and so heavy and I can tell because I'm definitely putting on the pounds. Um, they said from now on, baby will start to gain about a half a pound a week. So he's got a lot of growing to do. Another thing with the baby is um, his brain. Um, so his brain is starting to look more like a normal brain and it's got like starting to have the grooves into it now. Um, and that's just so that baby can start to um, learn more as he gets older and learn new things. My symptoms this week, I really don't have a lot to report. So this might be a shorter video. Um, uh, heartburn is probably the biggest thing that I've been dealing with. I've been getting it a lot more recently. Um, it's really prevalent at night, um, but I've been getting it all throughout the day as well. And so I try to take Tums, but I take, um, when I take Tums, they really make me thirsty and dry out my throat. Um, so that's kind of hard to do because if I take it like at night right before I go to bed, then I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll be really, really thirsty. So I have to be careful with that. Um, I have not been sleeping well at night at all lately. I've been getting up at least once, uh, more, usually more than once a night. Um, and it'll be like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. in the morning. It's usually because I have to go to the bathroom. Um, then I go to the bathroom and I come back and then baby decides it's time to play. So he's going like crazy. And then sometimes I just can't fall back asleep. I'm just wide awake. So I've been really struggling with that. Um, but it's nothing too serious. I just get really tired at night now because I just haven't been sleeping well. I have been getting um, some Charlie horses and some leg cramps here and there. It's not too often, but it does happen um, to the point where I have to be really careful um, stretching my legs and like pointing my feet and things, especially right when I wake up in the morning because it could trigger a Charlie horse really fast. My back kind of hurts a little bit. Um, it's not as bad. It's not to the point where I need the belly band again, but I have noticed that it does hurt to just, even just to sit like this for, you know, a couple minutes while I film this video, it, it really hurts my back. Um, and the other thing that I've been dealing with is leaning forward. Like I talked about before, it's really hard for me to lean forward because my belly is so big now. Um, and so I try to lean back a lot more. I've still been having a lot of problems with my nose. I mean, it's still that issue of I'll just get a really strong tingling sensation in my nose and I can't do anything to make it go away. And it really, it really, really bugs me. And I sneeze constantly. I sneeze all the time. Um, I haven't gotten sick at all this pregnancy, knock on wood. I'm hoping to make it the last 10 weeks without being sick, but I constantly feel like I just have like a stuffy nose or a runny nose and I don't know, it's just kind of annoying to have to deal with. I've been going to the bathroom a lot more recently. Um, I can't go too long of stretches without going to the bathroom. And a lot of times I'll notice the need to go to the bathroom more when I'm getting, when I get up and I walk around. And I think that's just like baby sometimes just sits really low and he sits on my bladder. Um, but a lot of times I feel like I have to go so bad, so bad. And then I get to the bathroom and um, I barely go at all. So it's kind of really frustrating. Like I thought I really had to go to the bathroom. So I think my bladder is getting smaller. <laughs> 
I definitely continue to be thirsty. I drink a ton. Um, I'm always thirsty. I'm always wanting to drink more, which is good for the baby. Baby still is kicking like crazy. I feel him all the time. Um, I swear I feel him and he'll just like stretch out and then he'll just like leave a limb, you know, pressed hard up against my stomach. And so I kind of have to like rub it a little bit to make him go back in like, come on baby. <laughs> so that's been really fun. I love feeling his movements in my belly and I'll definitely miss them once he's born. Speaking of baby's movements in my tummy, um, I have noticed that baby will kind of be on my side and really, really push really hard against my side, almost to the point where it kind of hurts. Um, and I try to massage the area to like make him go to the other side, but sometimes he's stubborn and doesn't like to move over. Um, and so uh, sometimes I'll have to get up and walk around um, just to make the baby kind of reposition. Um, thankfully, he has not repositioned to the point where like he's on my spine and my back really hurts. Um, but I think it's just the point of my belly getting bigger and so like my center of gravity is a little off center and so that is kind of making my back kind of hurt a little bit. I have noticed that my nails, my fingernails have been growing a lot faster, um, which is awesome because I tend to bite my nails a lot and so I've actually been able to have long nails for once in my life, which has been really nice. Um, I really should start painting them more often, but I just don't really have the time for it nor really care to do that. I haven't really noticed any swelling or anything like that. Um, I haven't had to take my ring off or anything and I don't feel like my face looks, you know, too much more swollen or anything like that. We still don't really have a name for baby. Um, we're still kind of deciding between um, four different names. Um, and so hopefully we'll figure out a name for baby soon. Um, but we still have about 10 weeks to go, so uh, we have plenty of time for that. I am having my baby shower at the end of February, and I'm very excited about that. We're kind of going with a bear theme, um, kind of to go with the theme of the nursery. So I think it'll be really cute and fun. Um, we have a couple games that we're going to play, um, a nursery rhyme game. We have like decorate diapers and onesies. So I think everybody's going to have a lot of fun with that. Anthony and I have done two different registries. Um, our main one is at Babies R Us and then we also have a side one on um, Amazon uh, that has things that Babies R Us didn't quite sell or um, diff different things that I found on Amazon that I liked better. My ribs kind of hurt a little bit as well um, in addition to my back and I think that's just like my belly getting bigger and baby like running out of room as well. Um, I have noticed more um, cycles of baby so he'll be up for a certain amount of time and then he will be as active for a certain amount of time and I think you know that's obviously him sleeping so he's getting on more of a schedule. I don't know if I talked about this in my other videos but I have signed Anthony and I up for um, some parenting classes um, and they're coming up this next month. Um, we have a breastfeeding class, we have a newborn basics class, we have a hospital tour that we're going to do, and then we also have a birthing class. So I'm really excited to, um, sorry, if you hear mute noise in the background, it's Felix. He's running around like crazy. Um, if you have a cat, you'll understand just at random points, they just like to go crazy and show off. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so we're having these classes soon. I'm really excited for it. Hopefully we can meet some other people um, in our situation and just get a better understanding of what's about to happen and what's about to come. I'm still really loving fruit um, for this pregnancy and Anthony continues to make those fruit cups that we showed in a couple videos back. Um, and I really, really like them. The strawberries are so yummy and grapes. I found I really, really like grapes uh, recently. And then of course, I'm still always eating apples and pears. So I think that's all for this video. Sorry, it's a little bit shorter, but uh, luckily for me, I'm really not feeling any, uh, you know, too many negative symptoms other than the heartburn is just the main thing. Um, so let me show you my bump shot. 
Okay, so here is my bump from the side with clothes on. And then I'm wearing Woo! kind of Anthony's in the background. Okay, so here is my belly from the side. Here it is from the front. And something that I forgot to mention in my video is I think my belly button has officially popped and it is officially an Audi. I've never had an Audi belly button before, but here it is. And then here is my bump from the side. So getting bigger, getting rounder. Okay guys, um, thanks again for tuning in. Stay tuned next week for my 31 week update. Hopefully I'll have more to update you guys on and it'll be a more exciting video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any uh, future videos that come out. I don't really have a schedule of when I post videos so it's best if you just subscribe and then you can be notified as soon as I put out a video. So. See you guys next time. Shit. Bye, guys.